Um, hi guys, so I wanted to talk about CVT annotation. Uh, it's something that's been running around uh, among us Kenyans for a while. What we keep but opportunity to an online, they always really, really rush to it. I can see a couple of Kenyans already taken the initiative and I'll send the application to CVT. So for those who are not aware, CVT is um uh how can I how can, how can, how can I describe it? It's um it's an annotation program for machine learning the simplest of terms so those who applied for 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 the job for the position of annotation specialist i believe you've been landed to this page you've created your name uh, segmentation task you've created your parameters that is um <coughs> the labels that you'll be using for your images construction site and everything everything is well labeled then i believe you created your first task it's already down here so let's move on to the tasks quickly. I wanted to clarify some issues because I've been seeing people doing it differently. Some, some, I want us to create a, um, something that we can work with. Because I saw people labeling different um, images differently. And I'm not sure if um, maybe having one uniform, uniform uh, formula will be, will be of advantage. This is the first image. This is, uh, this is one of the images that I did personally. Classified all, uh, all elements, all groups as follows. Uh, we have the house, we have the tree, or the plant. This is the I labeled as a tree because obviously there's a tree. Then we have um, the second construction. I see, I saw some people combining this construction for the house and this one for the patio. I think it's okay. Then we have the contents under the patio, which are the um, we have the seats, and then we have, uh, I think there's a grill at the back. Then we have the plant, we have a couple more seats. Then there's a solid surface. Then some label this one as, um, as a construction in whole. But I label this as a short barrier because, you know, at the top of it, we have a solid surface. Somewhere, it's a, actually, someone can walk on top of it. Then this one I added is a construction, construction. Then we have objects at the back. I'm not sure how to label this one. This one, this one looks like um, some machine or something. Then we have a hose pipe. This is an item. We have flowers and flower vases. Those are items. This is an, an identified object. I couldn't label it correctly, so I labeled it as undefined. We have another, another undefined. I couldn't clearly see what it is. Another undefined there. Uh, so let us go to instance. Uh -huh. You have your lawn. There's a vehicle, red vehicle, just be just behind the fence. Then you have the fence as a construction. Then you have a couple of plants behind the patio. And everything. Yeah. So this is one way of labeling. It's it's not complicated. It's something that you can, if you really put your mind to it, you can do it. And uh, this guy just want to test your ability. If you can really get the mere, the, the, the mere basics of annotating images, then I think you'll be good. You don't have to be like so perfect. Uh, the way some of us have done it, you know, getting directly into, you know, the creators of everything. But I believe if you really want something, then you go for it. So if you if your image has more details, more more pixels annotated, then you'll have you'll still have a better chance. So let's go to the second image. Mm -hmm. So this is my second image, uh, also already completed. Uh, we have the sky, we have the construction for the house, we have a tree, or a plant, and depending on how you'll see it, you can label it. We have a couple of plants here, we have a uh, we have uh, <laughs> a couple of plants. I label this as construction because it's man-made, yeah. I couldn't, um, I couldn't label it as, um, how do you call it? The other stuff is because I see people labeling it as a, as a kind of kind of a short surface, but it's man made. The same with this um, with this uh, small thing here that has been uh, it's on the compound, right? So it was man made. So I labeled it as, a, it as a construction. Well, it will depend with how you see it. You can actually change uh, the name for whatever it is. If you want to change it to solid surface, yeah, it will be a solid surface. But I, I believe these people want to measure, they want to see your ability to 
name to to annotate the images. The naming won't really matter right now because I believe that is something you can you can get used to as you as you progress. But they want to see how clearly you define these annotations, how clearly you can annotate these images, how clearly or independently you can put um, these uh, objects. You have to distinguish each and every object. And remember, they say that all pixels should be filled with an image. So let me let me give you uh, one secret for knowing if all your pixels are being filled. You have something called the show bitmap here, right at the bottom of the screen. When you click that, you'll have a bitmap a bitmap page. So the what the bit for those who are familiar with bit with bitmapping, uh, bitmapping shows the number of pixels that are um, in your image. So the, one of the instructions that this people gave is that at the end of your annotation, your um, image your image should not have uh, any annotated uh, any un annotated pixels within your image. So if there were pixels that haven't been annotated, then there could have been black spots on this um, on this on this uh, canvas here. Are you getting? So after your annotation, this uh, this surface should be white, meaning all your pixels have been annotated. I'm getting so if you had pixels that haven't been annotated then you could have been seeing um, black pigments maybe spots where you didn't annotate it correctly but if you have a white canvas after annotation then you're good meaning all your pixels have been annotated and uh, you've actually done a good work so you can actually come and just click on the bitmap here to show you what areas that you, you need to clarify and actually it's a good it's a good method to see where you need to, you need to do some corrections so yeah, I don't think this is, some, this is something that's sad, guys. It's something that you, know, you can actually do on your free time. Uh, this took me about a couple of hours for the two images, like uh, three hours. Depending on your skills, you can take uh, maybe five, six hours. We really focus on it. And uh, yeah, so this is it, guys. We have, um, we have the fence, we have the flowers behind the house, we have the furniture just in front of the, the, the house. And you can go even deeper into the details, like at the back here, we have some item, something like a vase, I think. We have a seat, we have a chair here, we have a table, uh, we have the seats, we have, a, we have um, a smoker table here, we have a vase, then flowers, and another seat behind it. Um, then you can see how I detail this fence to go right at the back of the house, so that when I drill this plant, you could see the mask for the for the fence coming out so sometimes you have to give it a little bit more detail we have trees and um yeah so it really comes down to the detail if you can get more detail on your images then i believe you'll have a better chance of you know of getting into cvat annotation so yeah that's not what i wanted to clarify so that we are on the same page. If you have any, if you have any, any questions, please you can uh, you can reach out. Or you can um, send me a message in the text in the, in the comment section. Uh, yeah, so that's it, guys.